Hey everybody, Paul Humela here at Dream Guitars, and this is a really collectible instrument, a rare flat top steel string guitar from maker James D'Aquisto. Um, as many of you know, he was quite famous, of course, for his art stop guitars, and he did some electric guitars, um, but only a couple of nylon strings and a couple of flat tops. So this is one, it's serial number 106, which is in itself kind of exciting, and it's from the year 1977. So let's give it a look. It's a dreadnought shaped guitar, of course, but with an oval sound hole. It's a super tight grain um, spruce top. It looks like cedar, but that's a, a color in the finish. It's actually tight grain sica underneath with beautiful medullary rays. There's a spruce, um, spruce um, bridge plate inside, um, and of course spruce bracing of the X-brace top. And then you've got a nice wide fingerboard. This fingerboard is um, one and 15 sixteenths, so it's very wide, but it's very slender in the back. Feels a bit like an arch top neck to me. And of course, a beautiful headstock with the Diaquisto scroll there. And you can tell that, that um, his name is hand etched in there. Very beautiful. Maple neck. And on top of a highly figured maple body, also with a cool color to it. So really nice tight green fiddleback sort of figure on the, the back and sides of the guitar. Bound everywhere, um, the neck and the head, head, head plate and the body, of course, all bound, as is the sound hole, of course. And a really nice little touch here, the taper of the bridge itself, giving it just sort of a deco feel. So it's really neat. I've had the chance, we sold um, one of only two of the nylon strings known to be in existence um, some years ago. It was a very cool instrument and very neat to see how he approached the nylon string with his own sensibilities and tried to do something different with the instrument. And I'm imagining that's sort of what he was doing here. So this is a dreadnought guitar. Um, uh, you know, obviously I can't speak for his mindset as far as the bracing and the voicing he was going for, but what I can tell you that it has is superb clarity. It has really art great articulation, good strength to every string, good, good note separation, just a really cool guitar and a really big sound. When you strum it, it also has, you know, it mixes up nice and does all of that. But this is, I think, a unique guitar. Of course, it's a collectible piece, but as far as a player goes, I think it could do everything from jazz and things that need that sort of clarity and separation to playing popular music as well. It really would do everything and uh, something you can enjoy while, while you happen to be collecting it and oh, care, care, taking care of it during the time that you might own it as well. So really neat piece. I love these kind of pieces that are both historic and exciting, but also eminently playable. So 1977, James D. Aquisto, flat top steel string guitar.